Hello! Now it's time for bookshelf tour number one. Uh, first, get all the crap off the bookshelf so you can actually talk about it. We're starting up here in the A's and B's. We'll see how long we get along. I'm not going to make this a half an hour video. I'm probably going to make this like a 10 minute video. Oh, here, let's just start off with, we've got a couple of Chris Adrian books. Uh, the Children's Hospital by Chris Adrian, which I've talked a lot about. Weird, magical realism, sort of nose flood. Um, yeah. We're, yeah. Mag magical realism, nose flood. Uh, quite an amazing book. Angels. Really, really interesting. Really interesting. Um, and then the other Chris Adrian book, which I own, which is Gob's Grief, which I believe has got to do with, yeah, it's got the Civil War on the, on the front of it which I have not read. I really should get around to reading because it's his first novel. Uh, and I haven't really made it to any other Chris Adrian, even though I really enjoyed that first one. Speaking of stuff I have not read, there's Lawrence in Arabia by Scott Anderson. Uh, picked, out, picked up because of my love of the Seven Pillars of Wisdom that uh, Lawrence of Arabia, T.E. Lawrence, wrote. And uh, yeah, at some point I will have to actually settle down and read that. So we'll see how many of these books I've actually read. Uh, <laughs> I have not read A Short History of Myth by Karen Armstrong. She is a nonfiction um, writer on religion extraordinaire, a former nun. Yeah, it's a short little book. Maybe it's maybe it'd be worth it. Uh, Beowulf, which I've most definitely read. This is the uh, translation by Seamus Heaney, a great poet in himself, and a really great translation. Very readable, um, very alive. As I only probably had another great poet can bring uh, some ancient great poetry to life. Then I've got the Quran, which I've read bits of, and uh, I should probably read more bits of. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have the pull that something like the Bible does to me, because the Bible is, especially the King James translation of the Bible, has such a deep well of of uh, reference in English literature, whereas the Quran, obviously not so much. Um, this is more, I guess it's for interest more, more, and I'm not like religious, so I don't have a giant amount of interest, but I, I should, it's the Oxford World Classics translation of the Quran. I uh, don't even know if it's the best translation to read. It just happens to be the one I have. Ooh, speaking of translations, I've got two books here. Uh, one is here, we'll start off with the old one which is a very selected version copy of The Arabian Nights by Richard Francis Burton. Not the booktuber Richard Francis Burton, but the uh, the great explorer, um, just one of the co-discoverers, discoverers in that way that people were discovered, Englishmen were discoverers back in the 19th century of the Nile. Also a uh, translator and just really super intense kind of guy. Uh, this is his, this is a, obviously a very abridged translation of the, uh, of the uh, of the Arabian Nights, uh, his translation is very much known for being uh, probably very very discursive, very um, unexpurgated. Un um, though it is a nineteenth century translation, so I wouldn't put it past for, uh, Burton for for injecting stuff. I've got no clue. Um, on the other complete end of the scale from that, I have got this translation of the Arabian Nights, translated by Hussein Hadari. Uh, which is based on text edited by Muslim Ma, 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 my this is my eyes, not even my bad pronunciation. But uh, yeah, it is uh, critically claimed Arabian Nights based on Muslim Masadi's landmark reconstruction of the earliest extant version of, you know, this is, this is, uh, you know, Aladdin, this is all the great, great compendium, great compendium of stories. Um, between the two, I should really probably reread them again, um, just as a kind of really fun thing, sort of reminds me in some ways of Boccaccio and him collecting all the stories together in the Decameron, uh, of a, of a certain, certain time. Oh, I think I'm just going to get to, I'll get to probably Piers Anthony here. I've got some Kathy Acker, uh, who is a very, uh, to me, experimentalist, very odd writer. Of books, uh, often books kind of patched together. I think uh, one of them, uh, the Don Quixote, it's like it's got it's got like swaths of like old older texts in it, but it's very much kind of a punk rock lesbian kind of perspective. Uh, Kathy Ac 
actor's twitchy genius lies in the realm of half-remembered dreams. Pussy reads and sounds like the work of people who know exactly what they're doing, even if part of their mission is to keep you from making easy categorizations. You can't easily categorize dreams either, but they're, when they're this provocative, you hope to have them again, which is from Hotwired, which is as good a thing that's a Pussy, King of the Pirates, which I have a fondness for pirate tales, even when they're um, perhaps postmodern. And, oh God, okay. And there's my other poor neglected uh, Chris Adrian, which is A Better Angel, Stories by Chris Adrian. Another book by Chris Adrian I haven't read. I, I love the Children's Hospital and I've never, ever picked up one of his other books again. Well, I've picked them up. I just haven't actually read them. Uh, next is a uh, Dangerous Visions by Harlan Ellison, uh, kind of a landmark collection of science fiction books, uh, sort of a break from kind of more tied down, neat, uh, polite engineer um, science fiction and getting into more of the kind of the down and dirty 60s and 70s kind of counterculture, the, the new science fiction of the time, which, uh, yeah, 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 it's uh, it's got some interesting fellow fellows in here uh samuel r delaney fritz lieber philip jose farmer philip, philip k dick larry niven theodore surgeon yeah yeah definitely uh worth a read ellison was a great uh other than being a really good science fiction writer he was a really great editor too he, he found some amazing works uh as he went along and you know what I'm going to stop stop there and we'll start with Piers Anthony next time and I can oh, go into my whole complicated life history of Piers Anthony.